Hey guys and welcome back to Mother's Barbecue. On this video we're going to be doing our second attempt on a brisket on the reverse flow smoker and we're going to be taking the tips and comments that I got on my first one. I'll have the link down below to that one. All the suggested uh, tips that uh, you guys gave me I went ahead and started playing with. So let's get started. Obviously the first suggestion I got was the, the type of meat that I got. On my first video I, I got a choice brisket. So on this one we went out and got a prime. And the second comment that was made that seemed to be the most made was where I was placing this brisket on my smoker. A lot of people suggested I use the bottom rack towards the middle, which I did on this one. And plus another comment, or another tip was instead of wrapping out, you know, around 160, 165, let it go ahead and bust through that stall and wrap it around 185, which I, we, we did that. So last night I went ahead and took our prime brisket, I trimmed it up, I coated it with some uh, Worcestershire sauce, get a lot of comments about how we say that, and I coated it with my rub and went ahead and wrapped it up, stuck it in the fridge. All right, so it's about 5 a.m. I got my pit running about anywhere from 250 to 75. I'm gonna to try to keep in that range. And one of the things different I'm gonna do, suggested by a, another viewer, is I'm gonna put the meat on the bottom rack in the middle. All right, so at this point, we're not gonna worry about temp. We're just going to um, let this cruise along, to, like I said, 250, 275, and we'll just keep an eye on it. All right, guys, we are at the uh, eight-hour mark, and something a little different that I did is I let this get up to 185, so I let it break the, uh, the stall period. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap in some butcher paper, and I'm going to spray it with a little bit of beef broth and Worcestershire sauce. get this back on the smoker and I'm gonna start testing for tenderness when it reaches about 195 anywhere from 195 to 200 I'll start probing and I'm not gonna pull it until I get that tenderness that I like so we'll see you at that point all right we are at that nine hour mark and we've hit 200 degrees on the brisket so at this point I'm just gonna start tech testing for uh, tenderness all right we still got some beautiful color and that, that's butter. Oh, wow. So much difference in a prime. I'm going to call this done. Yeah, it's got a nice little jello movement to it. Nice and tender. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pull this. And we're going to let it rest for about 30, 40 minutes. And I think we're going to be eating some brisket soon. All right, so here we go. Brisket, about nine and a half hours. Uh, it's a prime. I cooked it on the reverse flow on the bottom rack in the middle. Instead of wrapping around 160, which I usually do, I let it go to 180, 185. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this right down the middle. And that's just cutting like butter. Let's get a close up of this. And I don't know about you, but that's looking pretty darn good. Let's go ahead and take a slice out of the flat. Let's take a look at one of these slices. I'm gonna say this is probably one of the best ones I've ever made. All right, so there's there's a slice of the flat. It's got a nice bend to it. Got it comes apart okay. Uh, it's pretty tender. That is some pretty damn good brisket. I must say this is probably one of the best briskets I've made. I think using a prime made a huge difference. Um, it seemed to cook a lot better. There was no problems with the cook. That tenderness was there. I actually started feeling it getting tender around 185, almost 190, but went ahead and took it up to 200. And then at that point, I was just probing to make sure I got it to where 
I thought it was tender enough, and that's when we pulled it. I think the final temp ended up being uh, 203 on it, but again, I wasn't paying attention to the final temp. I was paying attention to the tenderness of it, and I think we got a pretty good product here. So I want to thank everybody out there who's made a comment and, and suggestions on how to make this better. If you have any more suggestions on what I did, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I really appreciate it. Remember, guys, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys on the next run. Thanks for watching.